It's Goldie again, and today I have invited another another one of my best friends, Seahorse, and I've also got two puppets on my tentacles: a puppet of Bluey and a puppet of Bingo. And today we're gonna read Bluey Camping. The healers are on a camping trip. Bluey wants to build a stick house with Bingo, but Mom has other plans. Bingo's coming with me, Mom says. She hasn't had a bath in three days. So off Bluey goes to the creek alone. As Bluey searches for sticks, she hears a voice. Bonjour. Hi, my name's Bluey. Salut, Bluey. Je suis Jean-Luc. Bluey doesn't understand what John Luke is saying, but that doesn't stop them building a stick house together. Oh, oh. said Claire. Oh. Now we need some food to eat, says Bluey. We can plant this seed like farmers. This will grow into a big tree with fruit on it. But it might take a while, Bluey adds. And we need something to eat now. Suddenly they hear a howl <coughs> coming through the forest. Hide, shouts Bluey. Snuffle, snuffle, snort. <sighs> it's a wild pig, Bluey says. Somewhere. Yeah says John Luke. Bluey and John Luke make a plan to capture the wild pig, but he escapes. Never mind. Ha ha he he. Bluey, dinner, mom calls. Then John Luke's dad calls to him. John Luke, dinner. See you tomorrow, Bluey. See you tomorrow, Bluey says. They both run off to their families. And here they are having dinner. Oh man, Muffin's marshmallow has been burned. <laughs> Good night, bonne nuit. The next morning, Bluey and Jean-Luc are ready to play. Jean-Luc! Bonjour! Hmm, no fruit tree yet. We need a better plan to catch that wild pig. Or we'll have no food for the winter. I've got an idea, Bluey tells Jean-Luc. My dad told me how to do this. Bluey scares wild pig. Wild pig runs away. Jean-Luc jumps out. Hooray! Oh. Are they going to step on Dad? <laughs> they wait until they hear the wild pig, pig roar. And then... Yeah! It's time to head back to camp for the night. Goodbye, John Luke, says Bluey happily. See you tomorrow. No, Bluey. John Luke calls. Au revoir. The next morning, Bluey discovers that the seed they planted is is growing into a little tree. John Luke, come quickly, John Luke! But she can't see John Luke anywhere. Not at his campsite, John Luke. Or at their stick house, John Luke. Bluey runs back to Mom, who tells her that John Luke must have left. His holiday is over. What? says Bluey. You mean they're gone? I'm afraid so, sweetheart. That night, while Bingo has a bushwee, Bluey asks Mom why John Luke had to leave. Oh man, Bluey's 
I mean, Bingo's eyes look crazy. Sometimes special people come into our lives, stay for a bit, and then they have to go, says Mom. But that's sad, says Bluey. Yeah. I mean, says Bluey. It is, says Mom. But the bit where they were here was happy, wasn't it? Yeah. We caught a wild pig together, Bluey says. Maybe that makes it all worth it, says Mum. Will I ever see him again, asks Bluey. Well, you never know, says Mum. The world's a magical place. Hello, Bluey. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you want to see me and more of my friends, read more Bluey books and other type of books. Bye!